right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to Lauderdale. My name's Kyle. I'm one of the, the founders here. And uh, today we're going to be doing a little uh, behind the beer uh, episode, a little uh, insight into the brewing process. This is Mike. He's uh, our director of brewing operations here. And he's the one that, you know, makes the beer awesome here. Hops are, um, they, have a, they have a pretty cool cousin called Cannabis. And they all grow on a vine very similar to Cannabis. Um, they look similar. Um, typically, a, a lot of hops are, are pelletized like this. And so they go through a, a process where, you know, it's pelletized to where um, it's, it's that small. And you can smell it. Like, take one of these and, and just kind of crush it up and smell it. But these hops add bitterness, aroma, and flavor to the beer to kind of balance out the sweetness of the wort. And, um, you know, if we didn't have this, it would just be kind of uh, real malty stuff. Um, but yeah, these, these hops add balance to the beer, flavor, aroma. Like, hops are my favorite part of the, the brewing process. Um, and then they're added in the dry hop as well to give more aroma after the fermentation is ended. Um, then moving on to yeast, this yeast stuff is a single cell microorganism. Um, it's technically a fungus. So the yeast is in the fungi family. Um, but yeah, so the, the yeast is added when the sugar water is created, you know, and, and we add the oxygen because yeast loves oxygen. It eats the oxygen and it creates alcohol and carbon dioxide. But, but yeast, yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing organism where it can do so many different things. Like, um, it's, they're used as probiotics and, uh, and as to ferment beer to get us drunk. And, uh, but we, there's also different things we use. Um, so there's what we call a clean yeast. And clean yeast is like, say an English ale yeast or a American ale yeast, right? Or a Belgian ale yeast strain. There's also wild yeast. Like for instance, Britannomyces is a, is a very popular wild yeast strain. And then there's other things, there's bacteria we use to ferment beer. Um, for instance, uh, Pediococcus and Lactobacillus. And that's where you get your sour beers, if, you, if, if you're familiar with those. And they create a lot of like lactic acid and acidity that it's, you know, to each their own. Like some people like it, some people don't. But I love sour beer and um, the complexity that those microorganisms uh, bring about. So it's, it's really cool like what you can do with all these organisms to create beer and create different flavors. I'd say yeast is one of the, yeast and malt is the, the most um, contributing factor to the flavors in beer. So without these two things, you know, you're just creating something that's like, uh, say Budweiser. You know. We have had a very educational talk about what happens to create beer, and we had delicious beers from Water Ale. I want to shout out Mike, Kyle, Christy. I can't wait to do it all over again so that you and I, so that we can accomplish, explore, and indulge together. So shout out to me on Instagram and Facebook at Run Eat Drink Podcast and Twitter at Run Eat Drink Pod to tell us where we should run, eat, and drink next. We'll be looking for you next time. This is Amy from runeatdrink.net. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again.